What's up guys, welcome back to Shadabini TV. Today's another amazing day to get after it. We're gonna be better today than we were yesterday. So today I'm making a game day vlog because tonight we're gonna be playing the Houston Dynamo. They're still in preseason, so we get the chance to try out with some of their um, starting players and their trialists playing together and then through this they're gonna see who they need to cut But we get this opportunity to play against pros and see where we stand against them. So right now it's 7 a.m Like 7 50 and I have class at 8 So we're gonna head straight to my first class and then we're gonna go straight to training. All right, let's get it So I'm back in my car, I finished my first class and we usually have to be in training about like 45 minutes before training starts and today training starts at 10. But unfortunately, since I have class, like right now I'm leaving this 9.05, I go home, I get my stuff and then I head straight to the training. And I'm usually there around like 9.25 or 9.30, but it's because I have class, but everybody else should be getting there around 9.15. And since we're playing Houston Dynamo tonight, our coach said we're not gonna do a heavy training this morning. It's gonna be more like a walkthrough on everything we're gonna be doing tonight, so. Shouldn't be too handy and sort of straining. Now I went home, I got all my stuff with me. I got all my stuff in my bag and I'm just gonna go straight to the training mm -hmm. grounds and I'm gonna change into my uniform and then we're gonna go outside and train. Why are you late? Yeah. Did you have a class? Uh -huh. Oh, so you're just late? Bro, I, I, I came to get this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey. So we just finished training. Um, it was pretty light. We just went over what I said we would. And then afterwards, since I'm going to be in class before... Um, when everybody's leaving to go to the game, there's gonna be four of us that are still gonna be in class. Since it's a spring semester, we can't be skipping class for games. So we're ha we have to finish our class and then we're gonna leave later. And then by the time we get to the stadium, we're gonna be start warming up immediately. But everybody else is gonna leave like 7.15 while we're gonna be leaving at like 7.40 to meet them there at the stadium. So now I'm just gonna go home, eat, shower, and then go to my next few classes. And then we're gonna go eat as a team, and then I'm gonna have one more class and then we're gonna be playing Houston Dynamo. So that was my microprocessing class. Right now it's 2 p.m. And usually right after I finish microprocessor, I either go get food, but right now I'm gonna go home because I need to rest some. And then tonight, hopefully for my game, uh, I'm trying to get Natalie to come. Natalie, look. <laughs> I'm trying to get her to come so she can record some of the film. Because um, I know we will get the film, but it's going to come later. But if she can get some first person on the sideline so you can see me play against the uh, Houston Dynamo, that would be pretty nice. Right? Only if you pay me. So <laughs> she's not getting paid, but she's going to be there. So hopefully everything goes to plan. Yeah, so she has class in a bit, but I just came to her car so we can talk because it's freezing outside. And I was to go back in my car and head home. Nope, and then you're going to drop me off. So I don't have to watch. She thinks I'm going to drop her off. You think I'm going to go to the game. This is a good young school. Wherever it is. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're right. Go ask him. We came to Jason's Deli to eat before the game. All right, guys. So right now it's approximately 8, 10 p.m. Our game starts at 8, 30, but me and Alex had class. And in the spring semester, you're not allowed to skip class for any type of soccer matches. So we had to finish our classes. I got out at 7.45. He got out like at 7.30. So now we're driving to the stadium. Kickoffs is in 20 minutes. And pretty much everybody's- Warming up in the car, bro. Yeah, so the he better start running his feet. 
And yeah, so right now we're just gonna go over there and warm up as fast as possible because all these classes, you know, you know, kind of slow it down, but you know, we're students first and then athletes. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys on the pitch. Second. We're pulling up at the Toros. Look at, look at this pitch on this side. It's so nice. Oh, everybody's warming up already. Oof. It's game time, baby. Oh. Manotas winds up and fires, but the Vaqueros goalie bats it away. Nice save there. New Dynamo coach Tab Ramos looking on, and you know he likes this. Nico Hansen nets the score here for the Dynamo, and they're now in the second half with the Dynamo up 3 0 Saturday. The Toro. So, this is the match we had against the Houston Dynamo. I pretty much put some of my highlights and some of the team highlights as we try building out and etc. But the biggest thing is like Houston Dynamo, they were pressing us really hard from the get go. So sometimes a lot of the balls, you know, they want a lot of second balls. And most of the time they had possession over everything. But, you know, our coach already told us what to do next time in case we ever face a team that's high press. We're going to be playing Toros in two days. It's a USL championship team. So pretty much everything we learned from this game, we're going to apply it. And I'm just going to let you guys watch the rest of these highlights. Um, there's me finding that defender. But yeah, just watch it and enjoy. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys at the end of this short video.
Social no tuvieron. No, no pongan potres, no están bien pegados, no mames. Bueno, mames, güey, ponle más lejos, güey. Anyway, so the game just ended. We lost 3 0. No, we won 3 0. We won 3 0. I scored But it was a great learning experience. <laughs> What did you guys say? Yeah, we learned. I mean, experience. you got something in? Um, I mean, we did pretty well, I thought. Like for 3 0 loss. Like, yeah, they had a lot of position, but. All right. What is it? What's your quote, Bob? Um, we're better tomorrow than we were. We're going to be better today than we were yesterday. <laughs> we're going to be better today than we were yesterday. Yeah. 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 So technically, by us. Getting the chance to play pros, Houston Dynamo, like we really saw the difference between them and like college level kids. So now we're gonna take. But it's achievable. Yeah, it's there. So we're gonna take everything we learned today and apply it to our lives, and you know maybe it's gonna be us on the other side next time. What's up, Will? As you know, you guys seen him before. You have anything to say for this match? He got to play finally, even though after coming back from injury. You, you have anything to say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was good, you know. I didn't I didn't wear my brace today, it was good. I love to so, see that. Just with the sleeve. I dangled some kids, you know. I'm coming back, baby. I'm coming back. Guys, it's been real, it's been fun, <laughs> but it hasn't been real fun. We lost. <laughs> so we just finished the game against Houston Dynamo. 3 0 loss. It was alright. I got 20 minutes at the end. My knee felt good. I didn't get to wear my brace. I won on the inside, so I was really happy with that. And then um, yeah, it was a good learning experience. To be honest, at that MLS level, the only difference really is the power, they're powerful. You know what I mean? They're and powerful. collectively, everybody's like passing mm -hmm. and moving on the ball that touches good. So like they automatically become faster when everybody's on point. Yeah, of course, exactly. That's what happened. So it was good and uh, we're excited. We're gonna now just go get some food, recover, and then we'll look at the game footage of this game later and uh, get better from it. So. Thank you everyone for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Subscribe, like, share, do all that jazz.